week, Glenda and I are fighting. We're fighting <laughs> because it is rivalry yeah. week. Michigan, Michigan State, both unbeaten, yeah. mm -hmm. heading into the battle for the Paul Bunyan Trophy. Just a little debate. Just a little debate. Sports director Brad Galley <laughs> joins us now with what the Wolverines and Spartans are saying ahead of Saturday. Brad. The magnitude of this game, you guys know it. The big moments over the years, they pile up. But there is history. We see it each and every time these two teams line up across the field from each other. This matchup, though, for just the third time since 1961, Michigan and Michigan State are meeting as undefeated rivals. The Wolverines and Spartans don't have joint custody of Paul Bunyan. He has only one home each year. This week, the battle to display the famous trophy has begun. When you have rivalry games like this, you know, at the end of the day, ultimately, your, your, um, your legacy and your reputation and Really, a lot of it is formed by how you play and how you coach in these games. Touchdown, Wolverines! You think you'll hear some extra stuff this week from, from classmates going, come on, you gotta beat them. Yeah, My not, brother goes there, and I need the bragging rights too. For sure, for sure. I remember I had a professor last year, and he was like, uh, you know, please win this game. Uh, you know, my wife's a Michigan State fan and whatnot. But uh, there's definitely, you know, some classmates that will say, I, I need you to win this game, you know, with the whoop, but uh, it'll definitely be that. Blake Corum's professor had to fly an MSU flag on his house this entire year because the Spartans beat the Wolverines last season. This year, college game day will be in East Lansing, and the outside attention is gargantuan. Obviously, we love the hype. Uh, we see it all over social media. You see it on campus. You already see them setting up a tailgate and stuff like that. It's been apparent that this team has a sort of taken on a new identity this year, just to kind of be you know all in, enjoying things, but then just just loving football collectively. Have you seen Michigan State take on like a Mel Tucker identity this season? Are you starting to see what what, what his team kind of identifies as and, and is on the field like? Um, only, only to say, I mean, they're playing really good football, yeah. you know, so they're doing, a, they're doing a great job. And, you know, just as far as, you know, peeling the layers back on the onion, whether it's us, them, really focus on, you know, the preparation and doing all we can to put ourselves in the best possible situation so our players can go out there and let it rip and turn it loose. I'm excited for these, some of these new dudes to kind of experience what this game's like, whether it be transfers or, or freshmen, because I remember when I was a freshman, I was like, oh, yeah, I guess I hate these guys too just because everybody else does. And what was so enjoyable today, no bulletin board material, but Glenda, as you're sitting here listening to the piece, mm -hmm. you go, I like that. They're acknowledging what a big game this is, and it's hard to ignore it yep. this year with both of these teams in the top ten. This one in particular means so much, not just for Big Ten or college football playoff bragging rights, but it's, it means something towards building towards those goals to try to win the Big Ten or get in those college football playoff conversations. It does. Feels good to put it all on the line and go, go do it. All right, Brad, thank you. Can't wait. Not wait. All right, let's turn to our fourth.